If your response is, the parents should not have brought their kids here illegally, know this. I pray to God that you never have to flee violence or poverty or persecution with your children. And if the day comes that you must, and your babies are forcibly ripped from your arms, I will fight for you too. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Thank you. This is what democracy looks like. Kristen Drummond this with Channel 8. I'm outside the U.S. Federal like. Courthouse here in Las Vegas, where there is a huge rally happening at the moment. Hundreds of people here. Let me turn the National Day of Action, oh, as well as protests, the Trump administration's policies regarding immigration, especially down at the southern border. Many upset about what's been happening over the last couple of weeks, families being separated, etc. As you can see, just the number of people as it goes now. Guys, how are you today? Good, how are you? Uh, can you tell me why did you want to come out today? Um, I think that what's happening on the border is kind of monstrous. And what, what do you find so demonstrous about it? I cannot put myself in the shoes of a mother who's trying to take their children away from a situation that children shouldn't be in at the border having that child ripped away from me. I, I like that empathy. It, it breaks my heart and I mourn for the parents who are dealing with that. And they don't have a voice right now because they're locked up. So that's why we're out here. Uh, how has this affected you, though, personally? I know you said as a mother you couldn't believe that. Uh, are you a mom? No, I'm no. not a mom. I, but everybody in the world is my brother and sister. So it's not hard for me to put myself in their shoes. Mm -hmm. And um, that's all I had to do to be here. Okay. okay. What about you, sir? Well, I think the, the situation happening at the border right now is inhumane. I think there can be things that, that we as a people can... can uh, create to help the situation rather than just keep putting it off to future generations and causing any type of suffrage to our neighbors, to our uh, citizens here, to our you know, children, everybody. So I feel like we could do better. feel like you can, we can yeah, do better? People. Okay. Um, All right. Well, thank you so much. I just got done with the Families Belong Together rally here in Las Vegas in front of the federal courthouse. Um, I'm happy to say that we had a really amazing turnout. Uh, honestly, there's probably close to 1,500 people there. It's incredible. Um, I haven't seen a Vegas protest like that in a really long time, so it was, it was nice. Um, there were counter protesters, as there always are. Um, you know, and I just, I do, I kind of want to talk about that for a second because counter protesters are going to exist. There is going to be the contrast of your belief, no matter what your belief is, forever. That's just how, how things work. That's just, that's just the deal. And, uh, when someone comes from the opposite platform to where we are rallying, exercising the same right that we're exercising, you are damaging your foundation you're damaging the foundation of your platform and your um attempt to to make change when you turn to you know shaming you know trying to just start dramas fighting when you are choosing to be verbally violent or physically violent either or it does not matter to the people who are opposing you and expressing their truth you are no better than they are they believe what they believe just like you believe what you believe and they should be just as respected as you feel like you should be respected in protesting what you believe in. And um, 
and I just, I really wanted to get that off my chest. So, you know, if you are an activist, please just think about that for a second. Do not tarnish the platform that you stand on to make a better change or to make a difference in this world by stooping down to the level and name calling the people that you don't agree with. We all need to be one. We are one.